The first few minutes of the new Yellowstone prequel, 1923, were very informative for those who wondered what happened to James and Margaret Dutton, the main characters of the first Yellowstone prequel, 1883. This new show picks up 40 years later, so if alive, they'd be close to 80. That seemed very possible, and in fact, everyone thought that Harrison Ford's character would be an older version of Tim McGraw's character, but then we found out he was playing Jacob Dutton, older brother to James. Say what? I'm not sure I understand why that needed to happen either, but we put together a really cool video of Harrison Ford talking about his new character that you can find in the corner and the description section of this video. Hey, it's Billy Dukes and I'm going to get right to it after asking for a thumbs up if you loved Tim and Faith in 1883. Also, please consider subscribing and let us know which show from the Yellowstone franchise is best so far. While we never saw James die, we did see him get shot. During a gunfight scene that actually came during a flashback in season four of Yellowstone, it appears he's mortally wounded. We even hear Margaret shriek. As it turns out, he was mortally wounded. And who is the one to tell us all of this? Well, it's Elsa Dutton, of course. Yep, James Dutton's late daughter returns in a voiceover role for 1923, which I'm not really all that mad about. It ravaged us upon the coffin ships of Ireland stranded us on the beaches of New Jersey, devoured us upon the battlefields of Shiloh and Antietam. I'd love listening to that woman talk. Here is the part where she tells us what happened to James, as well as Margaret. A year later, he arrived to find my mother frozen in a snowdrift, her two boys half-starved and barely able to speak. There is one more big old tease that Elsa reveals, but first, who else is kind of bummed out by all this? During 1883, Margaret seemed very capable of caring for her family, so to hear that she just froze to death seems, I don't know, it's just not all that glamorous, even if it is realistic. I hoped for a better end to the character. Rest in peace, Marge. I mentioned one more big tease, and this concerns the couple's sons, John Sr. and Spencer. Both are alive and part of 1923. John helps his uncle Jacob with the ranch and seems pretty destined to be in charge soon. Spencer is fresh out of World War I and spending his time chasing big game in Africa. <sighs> Remember, in 1923, the war was just finished. America was on the brink of the Great Depression, Prohibition, drought. There's some locusts during 1923. It was just a bad time to be alive. Elements of nature are a big part of this new show, much like they were in 1883. And once again, it sounds like nature wins. Only one would live to see their own children grow. Only one would carry the fate of this family. Which brother is going to live? Honestly, I'd be lying if I said I knew. If you watched 1923, offer a theory below and tell us what you thought of the show. We'll pick up this conversation during a future episode of Dutton Rules, our Yellowstone in 1923 podcast. Links to that in the description section below. I'm Billy Dukes for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing.